The Sensor P30 contains a web server with the configuration software Sopus Air. In this tutorial, the possibilities for a teach-in of a label by Sopus Air are presented. Our P30 demo case is used again. Furthermore, an Ethernet cable connects the sensor with a PC in order to provide the service data and the visualization in Sopus Air. To start Sopus Air, a standard web browser has to be started. By typing in the sensor's IP address, Sopus Air is started. In factory setting, the default IP address is 192.168.100.100. The integrated web server contains the software Sopus Air, which is started now automatically in the web browser. In this tutorial, the teach-in procedure in Sopus Air will be explained. All the general features for monitoring and further settings have been demonstrated in a previous tutorial. First, the menu teach-in is chosen. On the lock icon, the screen can be locked or unlocked. The sensor shall be positioned close to the start of the label. A 100% accuracy is not necessary as the switching point can be moved by offset function at the teach-in picture. Teach-in length shall be 145 mm. By pressing the start teach button, the process starts. The drum has to be turned. Already after the first label, the picture data is processed and the teach-in picture is visualized. The stable switching will start after a few labels have passed the sensor. As soon as the rotating arrow disappears, the teach-in process is finished and the sensor gives a stable and accurate switching output. By activation of the checkboxes for offset or blanking, those functions are activated. To adjust the offset, a green line is shown that illustrates the new switching point. It can be moved with a mouse. In the single object mode, the offset can just be set after the end of the label. In the endless mode, it has to be within the label length. As soon as the line is placed, the offset is active. In the same way, the blanking can be defined. It is possible to define up to two horizontal areas. As an example, the areas 20 to 40 and 60 to 90 millimeters are defined. The definition of vertical areas in the upper and lower part of the label works in a similar way. In order to activate those areas, the Recompute Teach button has to be pressed and the label needs to pass the sensor a few times. As soon as the rotating arrow disappears, teach-in data is recalculated and the sensor gives a stable and accurate switching output considering the defined blanking and offset areas.